All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to beat the stray demon at the undead asylum. Imagine that this is the room that you drop into to fight the stray demon. On the left hand side, you have the nest entrance, and on the right hand side, you have the bonfire entrance. Now, when you fall through the floor, you want to fall through coming from the nest side of the room. Now, when you fall down in there, the first thing you want to do is immediately jump back and to the right into the corner of the room. This is because the stray demon starts to patrol around the room as soon as the floor breaks in. You want to use this time to take an Estus flask and get your bearings. Now for this fight, I don't use any armor. I don't even use a shield, but I keep it on me until I get to the hole in the floor. Just for these guys, just in case I need the block. As you can see, there is the nest side of the room, and you want to fall in as far to the right into the corner as you can. As soon as you fall, jump back into the right. You want to look for a good opportunity to run in to attack him. You probably want to wait until his back's turned. And then you just run right past him because he's probably going to do an explosion move. So you never really lock on with this guy. That'll actually probably get you killed. You want to be as fast and mobile as possible. This fight's all about running and jumping and staying away from his area affected explosion. Whenever he's turning, just run against his spin and make sure that you're always trying to stay behind him. You also want to do your best to keep him in the middle of the room. This is so that when he does those explosions, you aren't trapped in a corner and have nowhere to run. Now when the stray demon does his explosions, you want to make sure that you're not right up behind him because it does go behind him a little bit. If you are behind him, you will get hit and you'll probably die. So you want to make sure you're a little bit farther away from him when he does an explosion move so you don't get hit by the parts that go a little bit behind him. So if you just sprint and do your best to stay behind him, you'll probably do pretty good.
So really that's it. You just stay behind him as best you can, stay away from his explosions, and run in and hit him as much as you can, and then get out. 